Oh my goodness, have we waited a long time for this or what? <laughs> You know, every event has a story, and then there's a story behind the story. And I could be here with my fellow council members and the, and the city staff and all of you who have worked so hard to make this happen. I could be here probably for 30 days and 30 nights telling the story and then the story behind the story of how this thing got done. And I want to tell you, it wasn't easy. It was not easy. And people worked diligently, and they worked very hard just to get the concept done. And then once you had the concept done, you had to get the implementation done. Again, not easy. But it took a, an entire community, a grassroots movement, it took you guys wanting this. It took these guys helping to make it happen. <laughs> and, and then it took this guy and his staff to actually do the implementation. So, awesome. <clears throat> okay, now I gotta read my notes. Thank you all for being here. I'm Mayor Bill Miranda, and it's my honor to welcome you today to this momentous ribbon cutting. I'd like to take a few, moment to rec a few moments to recognize some of today's attendees. And I'll start with the City Council, if you don't mind. Mayor Pro Tem, Lorreen West. <laughs> Councilwoman, Marsha McLean. Council Member Cameron Smythe. I don't see him, he might be here. Council Member Jason Gibbs. We're blessed in our community to have some really outstanding representatives that help us get things done, including helping us get this community center done. And, and I'm going to start with our illustrious Congressman Mike Garcia. And I don't see him, but I would be totally remiss if I didn't mention our illustrious Senator Scott Wilk. and our illustrious Assemblywoman, Suzette Valadares. <laughs> Representing Supervisor Catherine Barger, who has always supported our community, Natalie Vartanian. <laughs> Representing the College of the Canyons, Board President, Adele Alonzo. <laughs> Vice President Joan McGregor. <laughs> Board Member Michelle Jenkins. <laughs> and one of the truly great people in our community who has served us for many, many, many years and has taken the college from a small little community college to one of the best colleges in the state of California, Diane Van Hook. From the Hart District Board, Board President Dr. Sharice Moore. And I saw him walking around. I don't see him right now. There he is, Joe Messina. And James Webb.
and perpetually wanting to be a next, Linda Storley. <clears throat> From the Saugus Union Elementary District Board, President Laura Arrowsmith. And David Barlavi. From our Parks Commission, our Chair, Diana Boone. Vice Chair, Young father and soon to be young father again, Jonathan Waymeyer. <laughs> Commissioner Sky Ostrom. <laughs> Commissioner Don Crookshank. <laughs> and Commissioner Henry Rodriguez. From the Arts Commission, Chair Dr. Michael Millar. And Susan Shapiro. From Planning, Rennie Berlin. Today, we're also joined by City Manager Ken Striplin. and Assistant City Manager Frank Oviedo. He will probably hate me for mentioning his name because he's a humble man, but there is no way we can open this Canyon Country Community Center without mentioning our prior council member, four-time mayor, Bob Keller. And of course, we're, we're joined by our residents, community members, and business owners who have been wonderful neighbors throughout the entire construction process. Today is a wonderful day for residents living not only here in Canyon Country, but throughout all of Santa Clarita, and in fact, throughout the entire Santa Clarita Valley. Two and a half years ago, this site housed a, sm a smattering of buildings a vacant lot full of brush and debris and one exceptionally large and not so attractive billboard. As you explore the site today, keep an eye out for the images of what the site looked like before so you can truly appreciate the incredible job that has been done here. Now this nine acre site is home to the brand new Canyon Country Community Center. This new community center will be a hub for enrichment, activity, and learning opportunities in Santa Clarita. In addition, in addition to the 25,000 square foot community center building behind me, the site features a playground with inclusive play area, a half basketball court. By the way, it, it, it would have been a full basketball court but I can't run up and down a full court anymore. <laughs> and an outdoor event space and numerous public art pieces. Please, please, please pay, pay special attention to the art pieces all around this property. There's some outstanding pieces of art that were chosen by the Arts Commission and the Selection Committee, and, and this is truly not, not just a wonderful community center, but it, it's, a, it's a wonderful, let's call it museum piece for art in our community. So we're very, we're very pleased with that. One of these pieces is the community. The community is a 25 foot tall tree at the corner of Soledad and Sierra that represents the city's beloved oak trees and is made with steel and acrylic plexiglass leaves 
that flutter in the breeze. So you gotta check that out. The artist C.J. Wrench is here with us today. C.J. C.J. is over there. Well done, C.J., well done. As you explore the site today, please make sure you head over to see the community. It is breathtaking to see the light shine through the leaves and, pro and project a rainbow of colors throughout the Gateway Plaza. You will also notice be the beautiful mosaic tile wall that stretches along the back of the terrace. This piece was truly a community effort designed by the artist Katie Krantz. Is Katie here? Community members were invited to create their own tiles using textures from nature, which were then included in the final mosaic. Did we see Katie? Katie, raise your hand if you're here. Okay, well she's here in spirit if she's not here physically. Early on in the construction process, the Mint Canyon Channel on the east side of the site was partially boxed to allow more landscaping walkways and usable space. We are thankful for our partnership with the Los Angeles County 5th District Supervisor Catherine Barger's office as the upgrades to this county-owned channel were integral to realizing the true potential of this site. Additionally, a water filtration system was installed underneath the parking lot to my right which allows the city to capture water runoff from Sierra Highway and improve existing water flow while also reducing water pollution. The community center building itself will hold classes, activities, programs for youth and adults, as well as special community events, workshops that are offered that offer opportunities for personal and professional growth. I want to say, one of the things we put into this center from the very beginning in our thinking, this is not just a place for kids. This is a place for everybody. This is a place, yes. This is a place for seniors. I want seniors in the Canyon Country community to know. I know we have a new senior center, Bella Vita, it's fantastic. Okay, it's absolutely fantastic. But some people may not want to go to Bella Vita. Come right here, the Canyon Country Community Center. Seniors are welcome. The building behind me features a full gymnasium, a grand room, classroom space, fitness studio, and a demonstration teaching kitchen. So all you men who don't cook, <laughs> no excuse now. <laughs> I know city staff is excited to begin program offerings for children, adults, and seniors, as well as a new cultural event series that will debut here in the coming months. And that's very important to all of us. You know, our, our city is a growing city. How many of you know that we're the th third largest city in Los Angeles County? Okay. Pretty much everybody. How many of you know that we're the 17th largest city in California? Whoa. And, and here's some news that I'm sure very few of you know. As of the census results, we are now the 93rd largest city in the United States of America. We are not chump change. We are not to be played with. We are not to be toyed with. We represent a significant amount of our community. 
a significant amount of our valley. And when, I don't want to get political, but I'm just going to say, when Sacramento tries to bully us, we're going to remind them just how big we are. No one is more excited for this facility to open than our residents who will benefit from its programs and opportunities on a daily basis. I'd like to invite Celia Simmons, as well as her sister, Milan and mother, Lena, to share a few words on what the new Canyon Country Community Center will mean to her family. Good morning, everyone. Before I begin sharing the experiences and opportunities I gained while working at the Community Center, I would like to thank the communications team and my boss, Julie Calderon, for giving me this opportunity to speak this morning. Julie wasn't always just my boss. When I was eight years old, I participated in the summer program at the Newhall Community Center. Julie was the supervisor overseeing the center, but in my eyes, she was the principal and I knew her office was a place I did not want to be in. In 2009, while I was participating in the, in the program, my mother, Lena Simmons, was the manager at Granada Villa Mobile Home Park in Canyon Country. While managing this park, the city of Santa Clarita Parks, Recreation, and Community Service team reached out to her to find out if she would be willing to help the city show that there is a need for a community center in Canyon Country. She worked alongside Julie Calderon, Hope Horner, Susie Cordova, Cynthia Muir, and Yolanda Ledesma. They implemented Zumba classes, homework help, movie nights, raffles, and holiday celebrations in the Granada Villa Mobile Home Park. The success of these activities were instrumental in getting the Jake's Way program started. In the infant stages of the program, my mom continued her, continued her support by attending meetings and speaking engagements to promote the Jake's Way program. The Jake's Way program is currently running and is making a positive impact in the Jake's Way community. Fast forward to 2018, I applied for the Youth Employment Services Program, also known as the YES program. This is a program that hires teenagers for a three-month session and allows teenagers to gain work experience. Once I got accepted, I was placed at the Canyon Country Community Center as a YES employee. This allowed me to gain work experience, knowledge in the recreational field, and work with kids. Once my session in the program came to an end, the coordinators of the center at the time, Glena Christensen and Christina Smith, appreciated my work ethic and gave me the opportunity to become an official recreational leader one at the center. <laughs> I was given more responsibilities, such as helping kids with their homework, working with staff to find activities for their participants, and being a role model to the kids. A year later, I was promoted to a recreational leader too. This gave me the opportunity to run the after school program, preschool program, teen program, birthday parties, and work with the registration team. Then COVID hit, and we all know how that's going. But that didn't stop me. I was asked by one of the community service supervisors, Elizabeth Cannon, to work the learning hubs. Working the learning hubs allowed me to help elementary and junior high school students with their homework while their classes were temporarily conducted through Zoom calls. Once the learning hubs came to the end, the Jake's Way program coordinator, Vicente Escamilla, asked me to temporarily join his team over the summer to work the Jake's Way program. This gave me more knowledge and skills that have helped me grow in the recreational field. As summer came to an end, I returned to the Canyon Country Community Center and I was then promoted to a Recreational Leader 3. I began planning and getting things ready for the after school program that will resume here November 1st at the brand new Canyon Country Community Center. Thank you all for coming out and taking part in this exciting and important community event. Thank you.
Thank you, Celaya. Now we'd like to invite, <laughs> invite Marcia McMahon, an active participant, there you are, in the seniors program to speak about our exciting community center. Thank you. Hello, good morning everyone. I am honored to stand here on behalf of the senior group um, to express our appreciation to the city for this effort and achievement. Let me put my, my water. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes, this building is showing us the effort for improving and enriching the world around us by ensuring access to our quality services and healthy activities to grow older better. I moved to Santa Clarita about four and a half, four years ago. I didn't have friends here, thank you. I didn't have friends here and I was feeling alone and out of place. Um, luckily, the Canyon Country Community Center was just in the corner where I live. I walk there and yes, yes, they have a Club 50 Plus. I feel there, so I feel the love and care from the team working in that small corner. Nice greeting and always ready to help. I remember having a great time with the memory games, which improve our focus and memory that we need, yes? yes. We were happy with the free bingo um, and the donuts and coffee because they were free also. <laughs> I also met the bridge group where some of them tried to teach me so hard. Well, I think I need more time to get that game. I love to dance, so I took some salsa classes, which were fantastic, very good. I was always looking forward to those classes and to meet my younger friends. I know this new building will enrich the life of many of us. We need a safe place where we can meet and help each other. I am ready to participate in more activities as I can, and hopefully free of charge <laughs> for seniors. I, I understand they cannot be do everything free, so maybe for seniors, <laughs> or at least some discount, yes? <laughs> we need a travel club for seniors, painting and craft activities, line dance, and many more free activities. As someone said, we are not here for a long time, we are here for a good time. Now, allow me to thank everyone who contributed toward this realization of this project that is magnificent, really. To you all, thank you so much. She said, she said she didn't think it was that good. I, th I, I thought it was terrific. <laughs> and by the way, if, if you want to practice your salsa dancing, you got a guy here who wants to dance with you. <laughs> We're getting there. Okay, at this time I'd like to welcome our local elected officials to represent uh, at the podium to say a few words and I want to start first with our Congressman Mike Garcia. Thank you, sir. 
Well, Mr. Mayor, no offense, but she did say younger friends when she was looking for dancing partners. So, uh, <laughs> uh, and Marcia, I'll be happy to dance with you anytime. You're, she's probably looking for even younger friends, but uh, it's a uh, uh, just a, a wonderful morning. Thank you f uh, for having me here. This is what makes Santa Clarita so great. This is uh, literally a, a little utopia in the middle of our beautiful state uh, and within our country. I, 24 hours ago, I was in Washington, D.C., which is sort of the other end of the spectrum in, sort, in terms of uh, dysfunction. Uh, it's a broken city led by people who don't know how to manage the city. And so this is a testimony to, to our community, to our city council members, to our uh, city manager, our mayors, and everyone who has just put so much into this community. I've been out here for 40 years, uh, or close to 40 years, uh, since I was six years old. And, and to see Santa Clarita become a city and then become what it has become in that time frame and, and still keep that, that small town feel to it while we grow in a very deliberate and planned manner is a, is a testimony not only to our elected officials but also to you all who have input into this. For the last seven years I've been driving uh, from Soledad making a left on Sierra Highway to take my kids to uh, premier martial arts about uh, a mile up the road here on Sierra Highway. And when they broke ground on this place, I, I looked at it and I said, I, don't, I, I can't even imagine what they're going to be doing here. And when it was put up and finished, uh, when you look at the architecture and design, it's, it's, it's something that contributes and enhances our community. This is why we are, uh, this, another stat uh, that, that we, we didn't talk about is that Santa Clarita is the eighth safest city in the nation, uh, and this is it's because of the values that we instill in our kids and the activities that we have for our communities, but community centers like this keep our kids off of the streets doing meaningful things, allow our seniors to enjoy their retirement and con continue to contribute to our community. Uh, and that's what makes us great here. So on my way here from Saugus, I drove over the new Skyline Road, uh, which dumps off into Sierra Highway. And again, it's just one of these things where it makes our life so much easier. And it's a testimony to the great elected officials behind me here. So God bless Santa Clarita. We really don't have anyone that is as good as us in this country right now as far as what we've been able to achieve. And uh, Mayor. Mayor, on behalf of uh, the Congressional Office, I just want to uh, give you this certificate. There's a lot of people that uh, contributed to this great success in this beautiful building. Uh, but Mayor, on behalf of uh, California 25 Congressional Seat, I'd like to present this uh, certificate to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I told you he was illustrious. <laughs> Joining us now is an equally illustrious representative who has, as I said earlier, represented us for many years, first at, on the Assembly and then in the State Senate. He has done a great job for Santa Clarita. This community center wouldn't be possible without his support and the support of a lot of others, as I mentioned before. Senator Scott Wilk. Well, Mayor, that's a way better introduction than the last introduction you gave me, so I want to thank you for that. I, I, this is the first time I'm seeing this, so I was here for the, for the, the groundbreaking, and we had a little pop-up tent, and, and I agree with you, Congressman, I did not see the vision for this thing. In fact, it was really windy day, if you recall, it was like Winnie Pooh's blustery day, and I actually, I, di I didn't even have a chance to speak because I had to hold down the stakes because it was going to blow away. And this is phenomenal. But you know, the fact of the matter is, is, as great as this building is, it's not about the building, it's about the people in it. And this is going to help Canyon Country flourish even more. Uh, we are all about community here, and it was mentioned we're going to have all kinds of great programs here from the youth uh, to the older Americans like me. I'm very excited about this. And again, just kudos to this city council and, and to uh, city manager Ken Stripland. This is a phenomenal community. And if you look around, 
I've said this the other day, you look around, it's, dy it's dystopia all around us. We are like an oasis in the middle of a vast wasteland and it's kind of frightening what's going on in California and myself and, and Assemblywoman uh, Valadares is trying to fight to make sure that doesn't happen. But we are so blessed to live here. Again, thank you for having me here today. Uh, looking forward to doing a tour and if Mayor, if you can come up here for a quick photo shoot, that'd be great. Where's my camera person at? I don't care about the city, I care about mine. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to get it from Patsy. No, that's too far. I'll get it from Patsy. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. That was the entertainment part of our show. <laughs> and again, equally illustrious, our Assemblywoman, Suzette Valadares. Well, I'm looking forward to some salsa classes and maybe let's add some zumbia, right? Some cumbia, some merengue, let's bring it on. Yay for the cumbias. <laughs> and you know what, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't advocate for a millennial discount, right? Not just seniors, let's bring on some millennials because it's, it's all about the next generation, right? Joking, joking. Um, I am so excited about this community center. I mean, it's gorgeous. And it, we are, like those that came before me and spoke, we are an amazing community. We're the 93rd, that's new to me, largest community in the United States. But man, we feel like a small town. And it's because of our leadership who genuinely care about our community. And we have grown so much. What I'm actually most excited about about this building is one, that it's coming at a time that our community needs it. This pandemic has been very isolating for a lot of people. And this is gonna open doors so that we can engage with our neighbors in a fun manner. We can bridge the gap between the generations in this valley and continue our growth in the community, in the small town type of community that we live in. So I'm so excited. The special thanks to the council for seeing this vision um, early and knowing that we were gonna need this in Canyon Country too, because we have a pretty big valley uh, geographically. So uh, Mayor Miranda, on behalf of the state of California, I would like to present the Canyon Country Community Senator, uh, Center with this certificate. Thank you. And now representing Supervisor Catherine Barger, Natalie Vartanian. How are you? How are you? Thank you, Mayor. Um, it's a true honor to be here today on behalf of Supervisor Barger. Um, the supervisor wanted me to let you know, city council, city manager, and the entire team that was involved with this beautiful project, how thankful she is for your dedication to the city you know as many others just said this is what makes our city so great our community so great and i always tell people that santa clarita has so many wonderful recreational opportunities and this is just going to add to it and i am so excited to see this site and we look forward to it um, so mayor i too have a certificate on behalf of supervisor barger congratulations Thank you. Of course, none of this would be possible without the work of the amazing project team. And I'd like to thank Public Works Director Robert Newman. <clears throat> City Engineer Mike Hannaway. <clears throat> Assistant City Engineer Damon Letts. Project Manager, Wayne Weber. <laughs> Rockstar. <laughs> Engineering Services and Building and Safety Divisions. 
Thank you all for your hard work. Let's give them all a round of applause. In a moment, we will cut the ribbon and officially open the Canyon Country Community Center. Once the ribbon is cut, please take your time to explore the facility and the entire site. Inside, you will find fitness and sports demonstrations and activities in the gymnasium and studio, as well as a take-home craft for children while supplies last. On the other side of the community center, you'll meet representatives from the city's arts and events, youth sports, and adult sports teams for outdoor activities on the open field and play as long as you like on the playground. You can also admire the mosaic tile wall by artist Katie Krantz, who has also joined us here today. Yeah, Katie, Katie, are you, are you here and would you let us know where you are? All right, well, she's around somewhere. Katie, let's give her an applause. <laughs> Food trucks are also set up in the Mercado shopping lot to my right, and you can sit in the grass with your food or get up and dance <laughs> while you listen to some authentic Latino, Latin American marimba music on the event stage. And now we'll ask all the dignitaries and elected officials, and yes, Bob Keller, you gotta join us, my friend. Come on up and let's do the ribbon cutting. <laughs> 